Hi, welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training, we will be learning about how to do live camera broadcast using Node.js. The module we will be using is called LiveCam. Webcam live streaming solution using GStreamer and Node.js. For installation, you need to obtain this module. So type in npm install LiveCam. You also need GStreamer 1.3 plus version runtime installed on your machine. For Windows, depending on your architecture, you may download the latest runtime provided and maintained by the GStreamer project. They usually come in MSI installer format. You do not need the development installers. Naming of the runtime package follows the GStreamer 1.0 architecture version.msi convention. Here is the download link from where you can download the Windows version. After installation, make sure you have GStreamer 1 or root underscore architecture environment variable defined in your system. This is a variable created by the MSI installer pointing to where you install the runtime package. For Mac OS, this module was never tested nor designed to run on Apple platforms. However, if you wish to proceed with running it on Apple platform, you may obtain GStreamer runtime via Homebrew. On Linux, GStreamer might already be installed and available on your machine. You may verify its existence by typing in GST launch 1.0 double dash version on your command line if this command is not available you can obtain gstreamer from your distros package manager so let's go to the command line and type in gst launcher 1.0 version so i already have installed this uh, gstreamer version on my machine which is 1.14 1.14.1 okay let's come to the code <coughs> first of all let's install the live cam module let's create a project directory for this video i'm going to name it live cam okay sudo npm install live cam sorry live cam not live cam Okay, it's installed. Now we can use this library in our program. So let's create the project file. I can call this livecam.js and let's create the livecam object by requiring the livecam module that we just installed. Afterwards, we are going to create a webcam underscore server object by assigning it a new instance of live cam so this is live cam not live cam i keep doing this not sure why okay okay start and function console.log webcam server started okay webcam server dot broadcast this is all the code we need to run our webcam broadcast program in node.js let's go to the console and let's try to run our program which is livecam.js okay so first it 
search for GST launcher which is GStreamer and it found the version and then it created the pipeline setting pipeline to playing and now let's open 127.0.01 colon 11,000 in browser this is the URL where we will be able to view our webcam ok let's open 127.0.0.1 and what was the port the port is 11,000 and let's hit enter ok you can see I have a live cam in the browser so it is on my machine and I can see the streaming if you have another machine in your home connected to the same Wi-Fi device or same internet you can get the IP address of your local area network mine is 192.168.43.39 so you can open this IP address on any of your local area network machines and on the 11,000 port you will be able to see this webcast or the web streaming it was 11,000 Okay, I can see it in the Firefox as well so that is how you can live broadcast your camera feed on your network okay the configuration of live cam takes an object in as its launch configuration if you don't give these settings it picks up the default settings which are here as you can see it picked up about 12,000, 11,000 and 10,000. 11, 12,000 is the broadcast API uh, port. UI port is the 11,000 where we see our feed basically. And the start function fires up when the webcam started. Then we have the webcam configuration of webcam frames. So we can set it to grayscale, we can set the width, we can set the height, we can set it to be fake or frame rate. Okay, the maximum resolution, there is a this is a generic and broad question. If you are looking for a generic answer, I have successfully streamed 1920 by 1080 the rate of FPS in my home network to five different clients including a Galaxy Edge at once. Okay. Yes, in livecam.js, look for GST video source variable and assign the following value to it. Assuming you are on Windows and the file is on C colon backslash videos backslash stream.mp4. Note the four backslashes. So you can give the. I want to mention a very important thing at this point, and that is that if you want to broadcast this your webcam on your local area network or the internet you need to change the settings default settings of the live cam library so you need to update the UI address which is set to localhost by default and the UI port is set to 11,000 you can keep 11,000 if you want doesn't matter but the IP address need to be changed similarly the broadcast address is set to localhost by default which is 127.0.0.1 you need to change this as well to your local area network IP so how do we do that ok let's see if you go into your terminal and I am on Ubuntu if you type in if config you will get the settings and right over here you can see my IP address which is 192.168.43 dot 39 so just copy that and go into your node.js code and you can paste it here I have already done that so you just need to paste it paste it there 
and paste it here as well that's all and now you can go to your terminal and start the web server you should see 192.168.43.39 which is will which will be your local IP address assigned to you by your Wi-Fi device or the router local on your local area network and if you open this address in any of your devices connected to the same device you can see the webcam feed in your on your mobile on your tablet or on your computer so I hope that you enjoyed this video training and you will implement this on your machine and experiment with it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in node.js